Battles 15 losses, 69 wins by way of. Get busy. Good luck. 13 wins by way of knockout. Yakima. And as referee Mills Lane would say, let's get it on. Feet 11 inches tall, 70. Rand has let him fight at his own pace at age 40. Naturally, you know, start to try to pick you apart. Now, how much of a problem do you think it's going to be? In 1998, eat Duran up because he was just him. You know, he's, you know, those rib injuries sometimes are very difficult for him, Benny. He's in here against the legend. You know, some, some might be nice for his resume to have a victory over Duran. Time ago, and uh, you know, I thought uh, Duran was uh, finished after the. Roberto Duran is that guy. Although you know, when he was a lightweight, boy, he 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 would come out enigma about what took place in uh, 1980 in uh, November the 20th. Leonard, of course, was very stunned by that particular fight, but he came back and beat him two more times after that. <laughs> we are ready for round number two of a scheduled turn rounder in the trunks. P.J. from North Hollywood, California, sports a, nine, a record of 19 fighters. You, you can say today that's still fighting with 100-plus wins is a court. They offered it to Buchanan. Buchanan didn't want it. What do you think? Well, he'll control, and he was winning the fight probably, but uh, they never offered Buchanan, you know, to pick you apart. You see him landing some shots there. You got to that right and absolutely drop Roberto Duran face first on the... I mean, it was an absolute scream you could hear from all the way to the... And getting back to the, the uh, Kenny B Buchanan fight, back to trying to go inside. Whether this works or not, you out you outspeed him and outwork him. You don't try to out slick him. Roberto Duran in the red, white, and blue trunks against PJ Goose. Him move around the ring, the subtle movements. If you make him uh, come forward, tremendous, tremendous power. Here, you still got to be pretty quick. Yeah, it's no in, in, in poundage, and uh, you know the little guys usually their defense that Duran didn't get credit for. He was such a tenacious offense. And what was seemed like a punch that landed really wasn't that uh, effective because it just. Unless you're a real boxing person like that, you know he kind of dips the shoulder and then. And, of course, Ray Arcel was a guy that handled him. And he's wasting too much time. He pawing with a few left jabs there. Rather than making... In his heyday, Duran was one of the uh, most brutal... So now he's choosing to go to the body. Knows that a command, a show. And that is Roberto Duran. This is round number four. Panama, P.J. Goosen, Patrick Joseph Goosen. And he's got his hands low. And you look for that right hand of Duran's to come over the top. Father, he's, he was from uh, Mexico. And he says, is. He's still alive. In 1980, he was able to effectively land his jab because it's almost like taking the attention of P.J. Goose to look one way and throw. No, I mean, this guy is uh, an artist at what he does and what you do to expand a big right hand to drop Duran has not been able to go ahead and do. But ace right there by Roberto Duran. Well, look on the face of P.J. Goose right now as he has felt the power. Roberto trying to lull P.J. Goose back in for the best round for Duran now comes to an end. You know, the, the, the fans listening wonder why he slowed down. The reason he referee Mike Fisher tells the two fighters to come on. This is round number five. California weighed in at 167. And so far, Ed. Roberto Duran with that sneaky right in the fourth round. Oh, that was amazing. Yeah, there was, a, again, another point, another. It's media, another fight that accuracy of those punches. He, Davey Moore just seems so much bigger. It was almost like seeing a middleweight. He's creating any either. He's not uh, moving around enough. He's not... Uh, he prefers for P.J. to come into him, and, and, and from there he's at the halfway point of a fight scheduled for 10 rounds. But that's one of the things P.J. said, though. It's the tremendous advantage in was fight, taking all those fights down in Panama. Duran, there's that right hand. This is round number six. It is scheduled for 10. That Roberto, Dan, Roberto Duran has thrown and thrown with great effectiveness. To set and think and, and figure out what he's going to do to land which showed Duran in his, you know, career had. And as a guy, way back in 1975, fought against Roberto. It usually was the cum uh, accumulation of punches that did it. Roberto Duran going about in his own particular pace, not letting P.J. Or something, Duran just uh, moved his head to the side to set up. A he's having a sparring session with a legend, and he's learning some things. But again, we'll get back to the question that I asked you. He hasn't really fought. He has him, and, and uh, obviously, when you're in here against a guy like Duran, you see Duran did by decision. I look at that move by Duran leaning on the guy. It is round number seven of a scheduled 10 rounder in the super middleweight division. So far, well, I have Duran ahead 59 to 55. He's PJ, but we haven't seen enough of that. And there he is. So good, Roberto Duran. Is that uh, 49 years of age? Not moving him around enough. Look at this. At the age of 49 into the seventh round of a skill. Oh, no, that one almost looked like some out of a Rocky movie. It's go to that body, and that's exactly where he went. And it a, a great former fighter and 
and know that he's really not going to get hurt. And Durant against a, a guy like P.J. Goose and then a, then a William Jopp. He's, he still has the accu accuracy. Not exposed, then it doesn't matter. And the final swing, a fighter really uses up a lot of energy when they miss badly. Duran, there's a nice right hand. Again, he set it up. It is scheduled for 10. Roberto Duran in the red, white, and blue trunks against P.J. Been just uh, too much. Uh, it would have been a heck of a fight. You know, Chop have to give it to Duran. He's just a, a little bit uh, a better. And although Duran was never that quick, he was so tenacious. And I just think here. And Roberto Duran made him pay. Prizing him and doubling up at times with the left hand. P.J. Goosen with a record of 19 wins and two losses. The intensity just does not seem to be there on the part. Uh, he would do all kinds of things when, when he was in a little bit of trouble. Probably do a, a videotape on exactly how to win a fight. Unbelievable. In fact, I wrote an article. About and here is the famous Roberto Duran smile after the miss. P.J. missed, and, and Duran made him pay with that uh, counter-punching. A 10-rounder, super middleweight bout. Roberto Duran in the red, white, and blue trunks. Right now, I have it 78-74 uh, Duran. Some of the round. There's a great headliner. You need a bang with which to close. The thing that P.J. has to watch out for is not the paw that when he has not fought at all. And you thought he's done, and here he comes. Big right hand by to catch his breath. Man, you're going to always uh, look good against the heavy bag. And then coming right back in and kind of stealing the round, you know. He could do both. And here's some of the action here from round number 10. I mean, round number 9. Digging shot. Not fight. Roberto Duran answers the bell for round number 10. You never know, is this going to be the last round of his career? I doubt it because we're, you know, I don't feel there's much... Uh, potential for injury I, I don't have I love to fight and I can still fight and I'm gonna show the people that I can the way he wants to go out nice right hand there by uh, Durant you know he wouldn't be able to go at this level you know uh, this many rounds so it would me he's having fun in there with this uh, uh, young man a young I'm it's really also great to see a guy that that's older than me fighting you know that I can call it <laughs> they're seeing a legend and you people out there are seeing a legend, Roberto. This is a guy born to fight, and he had just shown you right there that he <laughs> fought. Is on its feet. A standing ovation for Roberto Duran. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause. Judge Ryan scores at 98, 92. At the hands of Stone. <laughs> To Duran. Yeah, you know, and, and because of this victory, he'll fight again because the man legend performed, a master at work, Roberto Duran, who carved out a 